Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. So, in the last episode, Luck was stupid. Luck was very stupid. And not only was Luck stupid, but I was stupid, you were stupid, we were all stupid. And a bit ludicrous. So, this episode I just want to show off that my communication skills up to level 31. And even more importantly, that... Our relationship with all of our monsters is now level 3. Um, just between episodes I got that communication skill up, pet my monsters, and they went up to level 3, so... I believe you have to be level 4 to start getting medium level items, so I should be able to do that starting, like, two days from now or whatever. And I also need to get large items. So, hopefully, cross my fingers that we can actually win the competition on the 18th. Cross my fingers, who knows. So besides that, I have a lot to sell today. I just went through checking out what I had and what I hadn't shipped. Little Crystal. Sapphire. These are high level, so I'm selling these. Clay. Devil Horn. Pretty String. Um, freaking... Okay, I actually forgot what this one was called for some reason. Paragon. Right. Um... I'm not sure if I've read this before, so I'll put it up on the screen. This medicine cures paralysis and restores 30 HP. Antidote. Easier to consume than grass. This potion cures poison and restores 30 HP. Cold medicine. At last, mankind's crowning achievement. A cure for the common cold. Healing potion. Restores 300 HP. Indigo grass. Destroys in grass amidst negative ions. Yellow grass. Some people carry this around, around this brilliant grass for good luck. Orange grass, with its brilliant color, this grass is reminiscent of the summer sun. Red grass, a vibrant grass with the color of fire. This helps accelerate growth. Radish, known for its plump white root. It also its leaves are also edible. Bluegrass, a chic grass that feels cold to the touch, adds atmosphere when used for decorations. Purple grass, a high quality grass that only grows in rich soil. And we're not selling that, so I'll put that down there. Small fur, woolly fur, used to make yarn. Shoulder piece, a crude wooden shoulder piece. Round off, this medicine dissolves seals and restores 30 HP. Water crystal, crystallized water magic. Root, the root of a tree, sometimes grown up and used for medicine. And those are all the things we're shipping today. I've already checked them all off on my, you know, checklist. So, I'm good on this side. I'm just trying to ship one of everything that is worth anything. Alright, so we don't... Oh. Onions are done. Cool. We actually have more rune points to spend today. <clears throat> Random cough. Okay, well, let's head into the caves and actually start watering things. Sorry if my voice is kind of crap. Uh, my throat's a little bit sore this morning, but I still need to record, I still need to get things going and moving on, so... I'm just gonna go with it, call it good. Um, I think while we're here, I'm actually gonna be killing it right. <laughs> I almost just completely forgot that you can know, do that. So I've been playing some Rune Factory 2, just kind of excited to start up that one after I'm done with this one. It's going to be a couple months, but I figure, you know, start a playthrough now, have fun with it. And a lot of the systems are different, and I'll have to fight myself not to try to take advantage of those, because that game is a glitchy mess, and it's so much fun to dig around in. So I'm actually hoping to get some of these drops, because I kind of need them for crafting. Hopefully, if I'm lucky, I'll be able to get some good ones, but who knows? Cheap cloth. I'll call that good for the moment. There we go. And while we're here, let's kill some of these spiders. And after all, we are here. Okay. Didn't stop pressing that, but okay. Immediately getting a strong string. Awesome. Way better than the last episode. Well, 
That's two strong string. I'm actually gonna check how many I need. I need a grand total of 12. So, we're not gonna be done grinding these for quite a while. Oh, another one, nice. See, this is what happens when friends, you know, wish me luck right before I start recording. Thanks, guys. A skill up at the same time as a strong string, nice. And another pretty string. Dang it. I was kind of hoping that was another strong string. I was going to be like, wow. And another strong string. Alright, awesome! <laughs> you know, no complaints from me. This is a really good episode already. I'm heading home. I'm heading home. Tell the world that I'm heading home. Oh. Hi, I forgot you came in here on rainy days. I have nothing better to do when the weather's bad, so I came to see you. Oh, how sweet. Here. As an offering of friendship. Here's a radish. Thank you very much. I love the radish. So I have a total of five of these now. I only need three, and I only have one item that isn't a part of that. I think there's one lance that you can make that requires one, so I just have an extra now. Yeah, <laughs> you know. That's a small yarn shipped. So, I actually don't have everything I need to do everything I want to do today. So, because of that, I'm actually going to head down here to Carmite Cave. And we're going to pick strawberries, water the plants from under them and grind up some random items here. Oh, and while I'm here, I don't even have a medicinal herb to give him. Yeah, I'm kind of lacking on all of my gift items right now. So, I guess we'll take care of that today. We're gonna kill a few of these to see if I get what I... Okay. We're not gonna fight these. I'll fight them at another time when I'm not having to deal with that. I was going to, but I'm just like, eh. I remember why I don't like fighting them now. Because despite the fact that they deal one damage, they've dealt one damage forever, I still can get paralyzed. And I don't have any paralysis resistance right now because, you know, why, why not just equip all the power items right now? So, we have strawberries, which we needed. We have uh, cucumbers, which can make pickles. And now finally, I need to kill some of these ants. They can drop insect jaws, I believe, and these are the things I need. I only need three of them. I need one to sell, one of them for making an item to ship, and then one of them to make an item to make another item to ship, I think, unless there are more. And then I didn't go down far enough down that rabbit hole. Oh. Insect skin, which sadly I don't need. So apparently this is the only enemy in the game that can drop this item. It doesn't really matter which, you know, section of them I fight, but I have to kill some of these. So if I don't get them, I don't get them. They aren't really a necessary item right now. But I'm kind of running out of things to grind on right now. Pretty soon, in the next couple episodes, I'm going to be shifting gears. I'm going to be doing more of like a highlight reel of each day, just a really short highlight reel and doing like, I don't know, 10 days at a time, not just two? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have to figure out how to do it because otherwise this series will take forever and there will be very little progress each episode. And I want you guys to constantly feel like there's progress and like this is a good guy. Uh, whatever. Mind you, I make mistakes. As you can tell by the fact that I've been poisoned like five times this episode and sealed twice. If I was smart, I would have kept some of those rings, but I just wanted them in the shipping list and out of my inventory taking up space. Oh. More insect skin, which I still don't need more of.
Let's see if I have enough time or not. Did I cut it too close? Maybe. Just barely. I'd like to take a bath. Since they close at, you know, 9 p.m., this was the last minute I could do it. What? Phew. Okay, now, after 9 p.m., I'm gonna go in and say hello to everyone in their houses, because I'm a creepy guy who wants to give them gifts. Good evening. I believe I put on a few pounds. I never used to have love handles like these. Mm. Good evening. There's some poet named Lucas staying at the inn. I don't know what his problem is, but he keeps flirting with me. The next time you're there, would you mind whacking him with your sicker laguna? That's murder. <laughs> that is very much murder. Thanks. Here you go, Laguna. I'll give you my treasure. That's that's the thank you for saving me. Oh, we got the Lapis Lazuli. I forgot if you talk to her up here, this happens. Or likes that stone because her name starts with La, too. Maybe you could give it to her for a special occasion. You know what I mean by special occasion, right? I'm pretty sure it was last episode we figured out what that meant. So, yeah, we actually have her marriage gift item. Lapis Lazuli, a beautiful bull rock. It's a curio, so, you know, I'm not going to be shipping it or anything, but it's a nice little thing. I don't actually have a item to give her, but, you know, thank you. Good evening. Oh, Cecilia said that she never heard the story about when she was little. Actually, Cecilia is my real daughter. I found her in a distant land and took her back here with me. I couldn't just leave her all by herself. You see, I found her stranded in a battlefield. A battlefield? You mean you used to be a warrior, Russell? Yes, a long time ago. War made me hollow inside. This land, the books of her ancestors, and that child made me whole again. Eventually, I will tell her when the time comes. Until then, I just pray that she grows up happy. Yeah. I hope she grows up happy, too. Huh. Maybe you can bathe after 9pm. I thought it was 9pm. Or maybe that's the other Rune Factory games. Womp. Weird. Maybe it's midnight or something, or 10. I don't know. Raguna, what do you think? What do you think we should do to make this a better town? Um, I think prices are fine to be honest. We definitely can increase the farmland. That would help. We don't need a twenty-four hour store to be honest. So increase available farmland. The fact that we can't use a large area for land of land for farming puzzles me. There is a lot of land inside the caves, but the number of people that can do farm work there is limited. It's a problem. Raguna, you really helped Felicity out with her illness. Thank you. Raguna, what did Dr. Edward have to say? As expected, he said the stone was the cause of your condition, so how are you feeling? I'm feeling full of life for the first time in ages. Raguna, it's all thanks to you. I'm happy that you're feeling better. I feel great now. Thank you very much. How did I end up living in such a shabby town? I think I'm more suited for city life, don't you think? Good evening. Humans are so interesting. I never get tired of watching them. Someday I'd like to help build bridges between elves and humans. Thank you. Good evening. Prayer is the most meaningful thing you can do it every day. It's the first step towards spiritual enlightenment. I probably just sound like a bragging father, but that girl is a pretty wonderful nurse, too, and she's really glad to be able to help people. What do you think of my daughter, Mr. Regina? It looks like you might be kind of interested in her, huh? Why are all the dads like, hmm, and I'm just like, listen, I literally just moved here, like, a month and a half ago. Stop. Good evening. I'm so grateful that everyone's so kind to me. Thanks. Good evening. Do you like fishing? I think you should take it up as a hobby. I actually do like fishing, hence why I have this with me. I am honored. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think we've ever met her here, but it's rare to meet in a place like this. She actually stays here at the inn. She only comes, I believe, after 9 p.m. So, should you not want to make the trip over to the Casimir Ruins, you can meet her here. Good evening. Thanks for the wax tea leaves. I'm so happy. Good evening. 
You wanted to see me so much you came to my room? Does that mean you're interested in me? Oh, um, please forget I said that. Thank you very much. Good evening. Tori and Xavier are good kids. They're my precious treasures. Sometimes they even get startled when I see Xavier because he looks so much like... Like... Oh, but I must be boring you. Don't mind me and my silly chattering. <laughs> my husband passed away a long ago. He was a good man, mind you. He may be gone, but he left me with my two precious treasures, so I'm not lonely. Say, Raguna, be honest with me. What do you think of Tori? Well, it doesn't seem you're much interested at the moment. If she were to date a confident man like yourself, I'm sure she'd come out of her shell. <laughs> what? Newman was at church repenting because he upset me? Yeah. Yeah, Newman did that, eh? Well, what went on between you two? It's an old story, dating back to when Mother was curing Nicholas. What? That... doesn't... okay, moving on. It, is it possible that you two... Yeah, we used to be married before we came to this town. We've been apart a year now. So why did you two split up? Well, we had different values and used to fight. We were both so young. I didn't believe that Stor's chalice could be used for such a thing. Sorry for making you listen to this, Raguna. I've got Nicholas now, so I'm alright. So that's interesting. Apparently, they actually used to be back together. Evening. My father isn't dead or anything like that, but my mom won't tell me much about him, even if I ask. I wonder why not. It's because it's, uh, somebody you know. I feel like I've said this before. Mm, oh well. I don't know, maybe I'm a natural born hunter or something. I feel so excited. Okay, so I have a huge amount of energy left at the end of this day. So I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to grind up my communication skill up even higher. So I'll be back in just a second for you guys and probably like 20 minutes for me while I watch a YouTube video. Be back. Give it away, give it away, give it away, yeah. All right, I'm going to ship a thing of pickles and a thing of rocks to leaves because I haven't done either of those yet. And I'm actually going to pet my animals real quick. Or you could just walk out of the way, see how it is. Come on, monsters, be nice. Okay, so for comparison's sake, we just went straight up to the next level on these ones. So the next time we you know, get anything from these ones, we should be getting the medium, cross my fingers, if I'm remembering correctly. Which I think is another day or two. So that's awesome. Okay. And I'm ready. Let's head to bed. Save in our diary. You remember how I saved in my diary? That is the exact reason why. It is the biggest reason I have an issue with these kind of games, is that this can happen. And I guess this is how I show off how I reset. I literally just hold the triggers and press start and select at the same time. And it puts me, it's just a soft reset back to the main menu. Okay, let's attempt this once again. There we go, a much, much nicer day. So now these ones are up to six hearts. I guess we were just right on the edge of getting up to the next one. Okay, we're actually going to head into Clemens right here. Because I actually want to get some fishing done. I know, fishing in a lava cave. What? But I believe... Let's see, how do we get there again? I think it's up here. Cross my fingers, I'm doing this right. Because, once again, it has been a while, actually. Ooh. Yep, this is definitely right. Okay, we're going to 
Fish right in here. So this is the only fishing spot in the entirety of the cave. And I'm gonna look at my list. Mind you, after figuring out that the other lists I've been looking at have had some issues, I'm not gonna promise anything about the accuracy. But there are needlefish, pike, jama squid, and lobster. I'm going for lobster. That is my big thing, because if I can get it some lobsters, then I can start making up some really cool things. A uh, jama squid, I think that's one of the rare ones. I think jama squid and lobster are the two rare ones in this cave, so that's nice. We are going to need a total of three jama squid, I think it is. I can actually look at my list as we're going. I believe it's three. A lobster, perfect. Skill up, nice. Another lobster, which is perfect. So, I'm actually here specifically for the lobster today. I need the lobster because I need one for the 20th for Lady Anne's birthday. I need to grill one up with a frying pan. I need one specifically just for shipping. I need one for grilled lobster for shipping. And I think there's a lobster sashimi or something? I'm not exactly positive on that. I'll have to look that up. Yes, there is a lobster sashimi. I just checked my notes. So I'm going to need a total of four lobster. I need three Jama Squid. I already have enough Needlefish forever. And I need Pike, which probably is three of them as well. So this probably won't be your only day spent in here, but you know, fishing is fishing. This is probably what I'm going to do quite a bit for the next few days, is fishing, grinding out a little bit, and you guys will just have condensed episodes. Or at least condensed days during those episodes. That's all the lobster we need. That's really amazing, actually. Yes, second jump of squid. Perfect. Still no pike, though. Oh. I'm actually full. Um, I guess we're out of here. Alright, so first things first. One Jama Squid, level four. Yeah, we're gonna sell the level 14 Jama Squid. So this will be worth 2,400. Um, 60, so that would be like 3,360. As well as one lobster. Five, eight, seven. Okay. And this will be worth eight hundred eleven twenty, I think it is. What is my cooking skill? My cooking skill is level forty-five. I believe this is a level fifty dish. So if I want it guaranteed, I need to get it up higher. Jump Squid is level 54, so I'm not going to do that either. We're going to try to cook one of these up. Grilled Lobster, perfect. Cooking increased. Um, that puts us at cooking level 50. Think. Um, the Jama Squid, I could do the Jama Sashimi now, which is only a level 30 recipe. I think just for safety's sake, I should do the Jama Squid as a Sashimi. They could Sashimi. Now, the Lobster is the big part. I'm not sure about its level. It is level 56. We're only level 50. 
So we have like a 40% chance. Well, right off the bat, we have to have a second one of these. So that's 51. So that puts us at a pretty much a 50-50 shot. Um, I'm willing to save Scum for this. Should I... Or should I make it random? Let's just make it random. Let's see if it works or not. 50-50 shot. Are the odds in my favor? Frack. Alright, the odds were not in my favor, and that's okay. I'm willing to accept that. I need pike anyway, so I have to fish in Clemens more, and I'll probably get more lobster that way. But this was my total result. Not bad, in my opinion. Alright, I probably should have just cooked more and called it good, but yeah, efficiency and all that. Who cares? Okay, one grilled lobster, one flop just for the sake of getting rid of the flop, and one kud sashimi. How's life on the farm? I really think you're talented, Raguna. Do your best, okay? Thank you very much. Thanks. There's nothing more rewarding than living in harmony with the land. Thanks. Oh, apparently he doesn't like needlefish sashimi. This is the library. There are all kinds of books here, offering useful information. You're free to read as much as you like. Thank you. As far as people go, how am I doing? Emmett and Sharon are both at 10. Melody is at 8. Rosetta's at 6. Edward's at 6. You know, just go down the list. You guys can read. Celia is the lowest at 4. Yep, May has no interest in, you know, in us at all. We are just some other guy to her, and she's like, oh, okay. That's about right. I love the bathhouse. I'm gonna swim in the big bathtub. Daddy's here too. You're so happy. What? Thank you. Hello. It's lonely drinking all by myself. Care to join me, Raguna? <laughs> Just kidding. Holding these glasses is absorbing, kind of zen-like. Hey, Raguna, what's it like to have a father? Huh? You know, I have mom, but I don't have a father, so I was just, I was just wondering what it was like. I don't know either. Oh right, I forgot you lost your memory. I need to catch a fish real quick. A snapper. Okay, um, I need to catch another fish real quick. I was just looking for something to give as a gift or something, but a snapper is actually something I need. Another snapper. Can we go three for three here? Nope, a sardine. That works. Snapper. Thought to bring good luck. Often served at festivals and on special occasions. Nice. We have a level 5 and a level 9. And grilled lobster. Seasonal lobster cooked whole. Adds splendor to any table. Snapper sashimi is done. And fried snapper is done. Fried snapper? I believe this is the snapper sashimi. Yes, it is. Oh. Uh... Oh, this is what the monsters were watering. Okay. I was wondering, like, why did I water these? I didn't. The monsters are just that good at their job now. <laughs> all because I pet them a bunch all, you know, across the last couple days. That's really amazing. So, as far as the monsters go, I'm actually going to need to get new monsters who are, you know, less affectionate towards me later on. That way I can keep producing the lower end of the stuff, but for now, it's nice having the high end stuff, be able to make the good stuff, win at the festivals, etc, etc. So I'm about to the point where I no longer need to grind any skills, or at least not at the end of a day or anything. So I can just start grabbing these whenever I come through now. Oh. Insect skin. I thought I got lucky for a moment. I got lucky for a moment. 
Oh no, that was the lampgrass seed. I thought it was. Ah, I missed all the thing. Okay, it's fine. I'll plant more of that, I guess. Or I could sell this. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> Give me your jaws as a gift. Not your skin. Not these seeds you found. Your jaws. Please. I know you don't shed them, so you'll have to tear them off, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. That way less of you and your brethren have to die. Oh, no, more insect skin. Da 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 No? I was hoping if I did the Jaws theme, it would actually do that. These guys would spawn faster and have better odds. <gasps> yes! Insect Jaw! One of three. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll have to do this more, but I'm very happy that we at least got one of them. We got one of the insect jaws we needed, strong enough to bite through anything, except for me. But it can still seal me, because, you know, meh, whatever. So one insect jaw, one iron, and one bronze together make the pin. It's a level 40, and it gives us... Pin. Some people enjoy collecting pins like these. Four defense, and that's about it. So you may ask, why did I try so hard to get this? This is actually an ingredient in another recipe. The pen is used to make... A second. Wait, I just realized the item that the pin makes is actually a lower level item, but is a lot better of an item. This game's weird. So the item that's used to make is the Courage Badge, which I don't believe we can make yet, because I don't think we can make one of the items for it. Yeah. We cannot make, we don't have one of the materials to make the lower level item. Also, I just realized all the materials for this lower level item is necessary, like, are higher level than the item itself. This is weird. This game's weird. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so we won't be able to make that item that I spoke of until pretty much the end of the game. So starting next year, we'll be able to do it. So we won't need insect jaws until then. We need one more for shipping and then one more for the courage badge. See ya. What am I doing? I almost went out and tried to ship that. It is way too late to be doing that. Alright, time to go to bed. Okay, so we shipped the pin. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Um... Honestly, I don't think we need to water any of these. I'm pretty sure the monsters will take care of it. So, that's awesome. Let's get to work. Okay, we're back up here. That way we can fish some more. Let's hope to get some pike and lobster. As well as drama squid, of course. Everything but needlefish. Speaking of the devil, I'm gonna be honest, I'm just gonna start throwing the needlefish back. Well, yes, you know, money and all that kind of thing. I don't really need it. I don't need the money. I have fish for gifts. The needlefish sashimi doesn't work as a gift for Edward, so just there's no reason for it. It's experience, at least. Chama Squid! Another Chama Squid! Finally, a pike!
I was really doubting it. I was actually Googling it, trying to figure it out, because that many in a row without a single pipe was starting to get unlikely. Another pike. Nice. Maybe it's a time-based thing. Maybe you can only get it from a certain time to a certain time. Yeah, this is gonna be my last fish. I'm not doing that beeping sound. I have two lobster. I'll grow up one of them to get my cooking level up and get another gift for Lady Anne. Thank you very much. Okay, so I have two pike, and I can cook both of them in different ways. Pike sashimi, and salted pike. So now I just need one more pike, and I'll have all the three I need. I'll never have to get a pike again unless I need it for some other purpose. Okay, I'm now cooking level 54. So... If I take my Jama Squid and fry it, then I'm good. I have one more Jama Squid. Um, I guess I can fry this one up and just sell it. I guess it'd be good experience. That way, I might, I may be able to get. Yep, I'm getting up to the next level with that. Really, I could do anything at that point. I'm not seeing a big use for it, so I'll just cook this one. What? Oh, I think I actually put that in. I meant to put this. Alright. I have a 90% chance to do this. So, let's try. Lobster sashimi. There we go. Didn't quite get me up to 56, but it's pretty dang close. Fresh pike cut and served raw with soy sauce and ginger, but not wasabi. Salted pike. Salted pike fried in a pan, a popular fall dish. Goes well with the daikon radish. Joma squid fry. Dried cuddly fish... Cuddly fish? Fried in a pan. Rich in both flavor and aroma. Cuddly fish. Uh... Jump? Okay, whatever. It, it's fine. Lobster sashimi. Fresh lobster peeled and served raw. Popular among children for its sweet taste. Sell the needlefish sashimi I don't need. And I don't think I've given her one of these today. Let's see if I can do this while she passes it. Nope, I missed. Frack. I was hoping to just give that to her while I was there. That'd be cool. Guess not. Also, it's 6 p.m. and I can still buy from him, so, you know, magic. Thank you. This is a grilled lobster, isn't it? Hey, how did you know what I like? It's because I'm a genius, obviously. I am honored. Thanks, I love the sardine. Knowing my taste is one of your good points. Good Thank you. Good evening. Even a librarian drinks from time to time, you know. It may not seem like there's much work to do at a library, but we're actually very busy. It's not a job I'd want to do, honestly. Yeah. This is a medium-sized milk. Perfect. Medium-sized fur. I was wondering if it was today or not. Okay, so those ones are up to seven. So these ones are about to go up to seven as well. Okay, time to water. Okay, so medium milk. Milk from a Pikamu. Rich in calcium and nutrition. Uh, buff? Yeah, okay, sure. Medium 
medium egg, a cockadoodle egg, has a soft white shell. And while I do kind of want to just sell the medium fur as is, I can actually make something with it. So if I take the medium fur, I can make the fluffy scarf, and my decoration skill increases. Up to 47. Now, the fluffy scarf. This fluffy warm scarf was made from woolly fur. Defense 6. It's a simple one, but it's nice. So I'll ship this real quick. Level up. Okay, nice. And back to fishing for a bit to hope to get more pike. And Jama squid and the rest of it. So I'm not sure if I actually said it. Oh, skill up, nice. I'm not sure if I actually said it, but this is actually the only place in the entire cave you can fish. It's the only water source, and as such, you know, this is what you get. This is also the only place you can get a pike, a jama squid, and I think you can get a lobster in here and a misty bloom cave. So it's better that we did it in here. Let's just be smart about this and not push this to the last second. So we essentially only caught two fish because I got rid of all the needlefish I'd caught. Okay, I've now shipped a pike as well. So I'll have to mark that down. Alright guys, next time let's play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. Uh, just to be sure, I believe it is. Yes it is. It's Cecilia's birthday. We'll give her a gift. Just normal stone that we give her. We cannot give her a favorite gift. Her favorite gift is an aquamarine. You cannot get aquamarines until... <sighs> second to last, or third to... I don't know, one of the last caves. Um, it's just not available to us for a few caves, and yeah. that means it's not available to us until, like, winter to spring. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate, but we'll cover that next year if I do go into the next year. Then... The next day after that is Xavier's birthday. We have a devil horn for him, it's his favorite gift, and so he'll be super happy with us. Then there's the Dairy Show, and Lady Anne's birthday. We have a lot of stuff to do this month. Alright guys, next time, I guess... Actually, you know what, I'll spoil a little bit of what I plan on doing. I plan on getting more monsters. I plan on just expanding that out a bit, getting some more monsters to be able to produce more eggs, more milk, more fur more often, and just keeping them at that mid or small level, that way I constantly have that, you know, production going, because we do need small fur for specific things, and small yarn for specific things, so, you know, may as well do it. I'll see you all guys, wow, I messed that up, see you guys all next time, goodbye.